welcome back to the Evolution Pod Club. I am your host, Jackie Seiden. So we want to discuss connection with you. It is all about connection. Don't forget that you are one with everything and everyone you see. The greatest thing you can remember is that you are all made from same source. Each and every event that has been created was created from and out of love. That's the hard part to wrap your mind around because it's easy for you to list example after example of how that is just not true. It is easy for you to fight for your victimhood and the victimhood of others. How used to fighting for your limitations are you? You're very used to it. As a matter of fact, that has been the only way you've ever known in the physical experience. But now here you are. It's a new year, a new time, a new moment, and you are yearning for something new. You may not even know what that is, but we know. We know exactly what you're looking for, whether you realize it or not. And that something is clarity. You are ready to understand the truth of who you are. You are ready to discover the truth of everyone you know and the platform in which you live. You are ready to accept that there is more to life than you ever imagined. You are ready to hear about new ways of perceiving your reality. You are ready to feel better. You are ready to improve your relationships to everyone and everything in your reality. You are ready to improve your health. You are ready to refocus on what matters more in life. You are ready. You've been getting ready to be ready. And here you are. Welcome back. Because this is not the first time you've been here. You are always with us, part of you anyway, the non-physical part of you, the eternal part of you, which is you. You are not separate from that part of yourself or from anyone or anything. However, this is the first time that you have been this ready in the human form. And to that we say, we are thrilled you have come. This is what you intended prior to your birth. You wanted to see how far you could get in your journey of self-discovery, in your journey of remembering who you are. Remembering in the face of pain, destruction, of your anxiety and worry and stress. Remembering during your depression, your angst, your frustration, anger, resentments, fear. This is the most powerful expansion there is. When faced with negative emotions, can you reach for the perspective that you are the creator? That you, the higher you, actually orchestrated that which the physical you sees as wrong or bad. Can you believe that what you created is actually for your benefit and growth? Can you trust that in the reaching for the truth that you are the creator and not the victim in the face of something you think is wrong, that you are raising your vibration and shifting the entire mass consciousness? That little old you is actually altering the composition of all that is. That in your reaching for the higher perspective based in love, you are more powerful than anything you can imagine. You, without the hard stuff, the stuff you see is wrong or bad, you would not have any need to reach for something new. If you knew the truth of everything, as you lived in the physical realm, you would simply exist here as you do in the non-physical, not having any new experiences. You'd just be going around saying, wow, isn't this lovely? You wanted to learn and grow and expand, and you must have contrast to do that. You must be faced with obstacles, which we refer to as manifestation events, events you have manifested to uncover limiting beliefs, beliefs about yourself that hold you back from living a life of ease, joy, freedom, health, and abundance, and above all acceptance. Beliefs that you have adopted from society or your parents, friends, everywhere. When you were a baby, you weren't worried about the number on the scale or have a belief that you were bad at math. You just existed in the moment and sought the most joy from each and every encounter. Unless you were tired or hungry or cold and then you would cry and voila, you would receive food or a bed or get a blanket or not and thus the conditioning began early. But overall, the thing you sought was connection and the same is true now. You may feel like you wanna be alone away from people and situations and things that could bring about negative or unwanted physical or emotional feelings. But that is not the truth of who you are. Separation is fear and connection is love. You want to connect to others, to your surroundings and to your inner self, your inner self who is calling to you at every moment of every day, guiding you, loving you, seeing the perfection of all of you. 
sending you guidance in the form of positive or negative emotions to let you know when you are in agreement with your inner self and when you are not. When you are not, you are buying into the illusion. You are identifying as the victim once again. You, my love, are no victim. You are the most perfect, powerful, limitless, pure being we have ever seen. You are source, you are love, you are the all and the all is you. You are connected to all that is and we are connected to you. Seek to make more connections in the coming year. If you can't do it in person, find other ways. Technology is making it increasingly easy and possible. Connect with people, push past the fear that pops up when you're inspired to call an old friend or ask another kid's mom for her number at the park. Remember that every part of your reality is simply a reflection of your perception of self. Remember that the more you love and accept yourself, the more you will love and accept others. Acceptance is love. The more love you give, the better you will feel in your life. Connection. Spread your love. Shine your light.